Would you believe it's another week? Another week has gone by. This is part three of our seven-part podcast. Reminder, this is John Grant speaking from Apple Visions based here in Davao City. With me again is Ian Fredericks. And Ian, what's the subject for today? Yeah, thanks, John. We're going to be looking at working on your primary markets. If you stop and think about most businesses, 80% of what the operator does, the small and medium-sized enterprise, the operator, the owner, 80% of the things that they do are followed by their staff. And in some cases, it gets as low as 60%. So your leadership ability in showing the way becomes an integral part of getting the business to be achieving the things that you want. Now, if we just have a look, say, at the professionals, if you ask a professional, what do they do? And they might say they're an accountant, or they're a dentist, or they're a doctor. And there is an assumption made that they communicate that terminology and the client would clearly understand what they are referring to, when in actual fact, There are specializations where people can communicate they're specializing in a particular part of their doctor or being a dentist or an accountant. In that way, they communicate specifically what they're doing. And here's the deal. The people who specialize in what they do get paid bigger money. So in your business, what you need to do is to be specializing on the things that give a better return. Where do we look? What is the service that you can add value to? What's the approach to the marketplace and the things that you can do? What are the little things that can add value? Like the taking of names, contacting people, thanking people, giving cards of appreciation. Or little wee things that revolve around customer service. Most of them cost very little. I'll give you an example to leave you on uh, the thought today. The person who made the most individual car sales in the world was a man who wrote a card of thank you to every person who bought a vehicle from him. And he did that every month. So simple. He signed them personally. He had some people help him. And he sold thousands, tens of thousands of motor vehicles and became the most successful car salesman entered in the Guinness Book of Records. It starts with the simplicity of adding value, your primary goal. Thank you so much, Ian. That was part three of a a seven-part podcast. You might like to know something about uh, the people at Apo Visions, so I'll just give you a few seconds of potted history of myself. John Grant, originally from England, spent most of my life in retail at all levels, from helping out in supermarkets to running supermarkets to becoming regional managers and divisional managers of large companies in in the UK. And I now spend my time uh, going around Asia doing a consultancy work and falling in love with the Philippines. So I spend a lot of time here in Davao City. Ian, well, he'll tell you something about himself next week. But don't forget, we want to hear from you as well. So please email us at appavisions at gmail.com or go on to our online magazine, which is appavisions.com blogspot.com and this podcast will be on there in the next few moments thank you for listening